How's it going, folks? Today we are going to be doing the our first review, actually. It's uh, the review on the MSR Hubba Hubba. Got some fact sheets here about it. So I uh, thought I'd go through those before we actually do the setup and everything. First, it is a two-person backpacking tent. It's a lightweight. Uh, comes in the box at four pounds, eight ounces. Minimum packed weight is going to be about four pounds. And if you want it, you can actually set this tent up with just the fly and the footprint rather than using the tent itself. You do that setup, you're about three pounds setup. So it, it, like it is, it's a very lightweight two-person backpack tent. Works very well. Uh, floor area, area is about 29 square feet. The vestibules, you're going to be looking at about 17 and a half square feet total. And because you have two vestibules, you're looking at eight and three quarter square feet for each vestibule area. So it actually has nice, nice size vestibules on it. Uh, the tent volume really doesn't matter, 43 cubic feet, but you don't really need to know that. Uh, pack size is, is another key one, 20 inches by seven. Uh, the nice thing that I really like about it is the bag that comes with it. It's bigger than the actual tent is, so when you roll it up, you're not trying to squeeze the tent back into the bag. The, the bag literally fits the tent just fine. So uh, that's actually, I think, a very important part about a good tent. Uh, it is a freestanding tent has eight stakes that come with it. Actually, they're the the MSR, not the Groundhogs, but they're, they're, they're needle stakes. They're really, really lightweight. I really like them. They're actually really high quality, nice, lightweight, nice lightweight aluminum. So uh, with that said, we're gonna go ahead and set it up and uh, Phil and I are, are both gonna review it for you. Okay, this is gonna be the setup of the MSR Hubba Hubba tent. It's a two person, three season backpacking tent. Um, gonna set it up and then we'll talk to you after that. Start with the ground cloth as well. Got <laughs> the MSR facing the right way. Okay, so here is the MSR Hubba Hubba. I currently have one door open. The reason I did that is because the other side actually is the exact same thing. So we'll do a quick walk around. It is a mirror image from rib to rib. So this is what it looks like closed. You do have a nice small vestibule area to keep your pack, boots, or any other, any other thing that you don't wish to get wet. Inside, you have both a vertical uh, wall here. Let me actually stop that from doing that. Both side walls are actually vertical as well as the foot box on the other side because they are, like I said, it's a mirror image. It is almost entirely screen except for the very top piece of material. Um, so if you were running without the vestibule or without the, the rain fly, I apologize, you, uh, you would be able to see the entire surrounding. The foot box is you know, standard material. It is uh, waterproof, watertight. They do pre-seal the all of the seams. Let me get in here. I'll just kind of show you what I mean by the vertical side wall. So if I'm sitting here on this edge, you can see it's basically vertical all the way up to that point. The corners are all angled slightly. However, with two people, you can easily stand up, as you can see right here. I can easily stand up, even sitting all the way to the side, leaning against the side even. Um, you can see that even though that it does have the, I call it, I call it, it's a monopole setup basically, but it's a freestanding monopole with the, 
the, the tri pole system uh, in that you could easily set this up with just a, just the rain fly with, without the actual uh, tent itself. Uh, just the rain fly and the ground cloth if you wish. Uh, or you could set it up without the rain fly and just the ground cloth and the tent. Or you, didn't, you don't even have to use the ground cloth, it's just, you know, protects your tent. Does have mounting points. One, two, and then three, four, one of the reach door for a gear loft or gear or lights or lanterns or anything that you want to put. Um, the doors are partial doors, basically if you come up over here, it zips from the top, around the side, and on the down and bottom. Apologize for my daughter there. Same on this side, there are mirror, and then uh, they do have gear tie backs for both the internal door and the external rain fly. So, uh, they do have mounting points for other things. Uh, this is actually for the door, but on the outside they do have guy line points as well. And uh, uh, so that is the inside of the MSR Hubba Hubba. So that is our, that is the actual MSR Hubba Hubba tent. Uh, Philip and I will give both give our, our both feelings. I like the way it is a very lightweight. It actually is only a four pound tent. Uh, like you, said, you saw on the inside, it's all screen, so it's a three season tent. Um, if you want to use it in the colder months, you're going to have to have, make sure you have a nice warm sleeping bag with you because it does have a lot of air circulation in it. With that said, if you're in a warmer climate or in a humid climate, it does uh, tend to be a little cooler than a lot of other tents. Um, go ahead. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite features is the rectangular bottom. There's a lot of tents out there that are diamond shaped or trapezoid or whatever, which looks kind of neat and oftentimes there's a stability factor, but it doesn't really work very well for usable space. So you actually get a lot of interior space based on a small footprint. And then alongside with that, you do get those vertical sidewalls, both at the sides and at the foot and head. So you, do, you don't feel enclosed while you're inside, even though it is uh, just wide enough basically for two sleeping bags, maybe a little gear in between, but it doesn't feel enclosed because you do have that nice vertical ceiling, or vertical walls to get a nice ceiling. Yeah, another one of my favorite features is the dual doors. Uh, you never know. Not not only aren't you don't have to climb over each other, but depending on where you're setting up the tent, sometimes it just works out better if there's trees on one side or whatever to be able to get in and out of the tent no matter what. So that's a neat, neat feature also. It's a, it's a freestanding tent. It doesn't have to be guyed out or anything to keep it up. So it's a very sturdy tent. Um, I don't have it staked down except for at the do both doors just to keep the vestibule uh, you know out. Uh, and it does, it has, you know, quite a bit of rigidity, especially if you had some gear in there, especially in the corners, it wouldn't really, I mean, it's built to take a beating, really. Uh, but you do have also the, all the, the guy points that you typically have on the tent to keep it very, very stable if you wish. Uh, we were talking about things that maybe we would change if possible. Uh, I had mentioned that I'd like to see a, a window somewhere in the fly. It's kind of nice to be able to, you know, peek out, take a look at the weather, or, you know, if you hear something going on outside the tent nice that way. Personal preference, but that was one thing that I noticed. Yeah. It, windows are neat. I personally, they just, they add weight and uh, it adds a little functionality, I guess, to the tent, but it also adds that clear plastic where you have more seams on the tent, so that could potentially leak in the future. But yeah, it's, it's all definitely potential. One of the things that I, that I thought would, that I would personally rather have a little different, I like it where the doors have, you know, this only has maybe a couple inches when you actually close the door. Um, you know, bottom to it. I like to see that at least three, four inches personally. Just so if you have, uh, if you're in an area where you get a really big parental downpour and you have a lot of water rushing it, it, you have a little more protection from water getting inside the tent through the, the actual bottom water. But that's just more of a personal preference. You know, this is actually my tent, but um, that's just one of the things that I would have changed. Just a minute. Yeah, overall, we like it a lot. Uh, never, they, they actually just changed the color, I found out, to a, a neat green. Uh, I wasn't a real big fan of the orange, just personal preference. It looks like a big pumpkin set up in the middle of nowhere. I'm the opposite. But, uh, orange is one of my favorite <laughs> colors, so I, I love the I love the visibility, I guess, of the orange. Uh, but the green is actually the too. They did uh, actually improve the, uh, I guess, the fabric on the outside to make it a little more water repellent. Um, I haven't really used the tent too much yet, so uh, I don't have too much experience with any of that. But uh, as far as MSR tents, previously moss tents. Uh, they are a terrific tent and well built and I've never really heard of anybody having any leakage issues or anything. But they are just standard seats so you can rewater them yourself. So, uh, other than that, I think that uh, that's our, our first review.
Anything else, sir? No, we're all set. Okay, I give it two thumbs up. I really like the tent. It's very lightweight, very easily used, packs up real nice. Um, it goes up real fast. And uh, it can be used in multiple situations. You don't have to have the tent like I was saying earlier. You can just set it up with just the footprint and the rain fly. Uh, or you can do different setups. So I really like that, that option. Uh, I don't know about you. Yeah, that's a, that seems like a really intriguing feature, especially if you're actually going to use it for camping versus hiking or backpacking. You'd want to put gear inside the tent. Uh, you know, if, you, if you do it right, you can fit bicycles or storage equipment or whatever it might be uh, underneath that rain fly. So that's a neat feature. Well, it's getting dark, so hope you liked the review of the MSR Hubba Hubba Tent. Make sure you check it out on uh, MSR's website. We'll post the link in the, the notes of the video. Other than that, thanks excellent. for watching. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Check, it out next, uh, check us out next time. <laughs> so there you have it. There was our first review. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please post below or check us out online, campgeeks.com. Please feel free to subscribe to us uh, if you uh, have any videos to share with us. If you sub subscribe, we usually check you out as well. Or uh, definitely send us a, an invite. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, you can, like I said, post below or go to ch check us out online, campgeeks.com. We have a, a contact us page on there as well. So hope you enjoyed it. We have many more to come, and uh, we enjoy doing them. So we're going to keep doing them. So if you have any uh, items that you recommend for us to check out, please let us know. And uh, with that said, thanks for checking us out and make sure you check back for more videos in the future. Thank you very much.